couple times, so that's why he's, he's got some experience. Obviously, oh, sorry. Obviously, Joey's an efficient. So that means good player culture. That's good for keeping players. But also, your collective, the Matador Club, is really proactive and you know open out there. I guess how much do they play a part also in keeping players? You know, just knowing that there is consistent money there. I, I, mean, I think Texas Tech does a great job of handling the NIL market, just because you know there's not really a there's no like we're going to pay you a bunch of money if you come here in the recruiting process. There's nothing like that. It's really the kind of the mindset is you're going to come here with a great staff. You're going to come and compete to play. And if you play well and you're doing your business in the classroom and the community, then they're going to take care of you. And that's kind of the promise that they make. And, and obviously, whether you're a walk-on or scholarship guy, there's, there's incentive to come here for sure. And I think a lot of kids in high school or transfer portal can get in trouble um, just basically going to a school off of money because you don't know where you're going to be at. Um, you don't know how long that's going to last. And, and, you know, the Matador Club is, you know, we're super fortunate to have them and Cody Campbell and what they do, is, and especially with their partnership with the Red Raider Club. It's, it's, it's huge for this university and all the sports. And if NIL is consistent, then players don't have to ask, like, hey, if I enter the transfer portal, maybe I can get more money. Or yeah. I can get, you know, more money, but at least it's consistent there so they know that, right? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I, I don't know. That there's not necessarily a certain number. I mean, Obviously, this past year we all got twenty-five thousand um, dollars, you know, for an NIL deal for community service and social media posts and through the Matador Club. And I mean, that's I mean, it's, it's life-changing for some guys. I mean, I remember I was in college my early years. I could barely afford each Chipotle, and you know, I've kind of taken this as an opportunity to go have fun with my teammates and do cool things in the off-season. So it's definitely a big blessing. Tyler, outside of that twenty-five thousand from the Matador Club, do you mind saying? You, you still have some other deals outside the Matador Club? All yes, right, sir, yeah. Uh, I'd say probably like four or five now. I mean, I've done a couple in the past. I'm really working on a lot of lo local level companies, um, some construction stuff, um, some restaurants. Um, You're not saying who? No, I mean, they're still not fully done yet, so we're still working on them. It's more towards in the fall. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's there's been quite a few. I mean, in the past we've done stuff with you know family port, power sports and going to the lake, uh, stuff like that. Mainly it's all, and I got one with Table 82 to take the O line every single week to Table 82 for our O line dinners, um, stuff like that. To where like I don't need to, I never asked for like a, a big car or a, X amount of cash. That wasn't really important to me. I wanted to come back and make sure you know I was taken care of, but really wanted to have opportunities to go do stuff with the guys. The Table 82 stuff is that. I remember hearing about the old line dinners back mm -hmm. during that first year. Is that still the same? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. so this is like the third year in the NHL? Uh, uh, second year. Second year. First year, 2021, I was doing kind of a bunch of different restaurants. Um, we just got to learn who they are. Yeah, pizza they restaurants. And just be ready. Heavy made, stuff like that. Go against yeah. them. Anything, so over the course of your career, these, 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 we're these we're be ready like, for 21, 22, and what you have coming up, how many NIL deals have you had, would you say, total? Man, uh, uh, with Baylor, uh, I'm looking I couldn't tell, probably like less than 10, you know, around 10. Yeah, I, I, would, I would think that. Uh, you know, the, the first year I was here, there, you could, there some trading card deals I did were pretty cool. And then, um, this year, I might do a couple more. Um, we got a bobblehead deal. I've been working with uh, Level 13 Agency and Kirk Knowles. He does a really good job um, helping out us. Me and Jerron Bradley have kind of been doing some work with him. Um, got some cool stuff coming as well. So. People have talked about the potential for jealousy in the locker room. And y'all have had, you know, with everybody giving it 25000 they have said that that's a, that helps keep team harmony. Do you, do you think that I always say has potential to cause jealousy in the locker room? If it's done in ways that are not how y'all are doing it. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think there can be uh, instances of that, especially if you're paying kids, you know, 300,000 plus or millions of dollars like some of these deals are I mean you see on social media and whatnot but as far as in our locker room like I was saying before like we, we have never been tighter you know we're all we're all you know brothers off the field we do everything together there's no secrets everyone's I mean literally everyone's had opportunities for NIL deals you know Austin McNamara is our punter he's doing stuff with Dave and Busters there's a bunch of other guys doing stuff with local businesses so it's really just really sweet that people can do what they want to do and what they're passionate about and make money off of it. How does Joey help to mitigate any of that, you know, mm -hmm. jealousy or whatever? 
Well, there really isn't any jealousy in them to begin with, but mainly it's just through education. You know, he does, our university does a good job with, you know, educating about taxes and NIL education and how to handle your money and stuff like that. Um, but really, you know, he mentions it, but we don't really ever talk about it just because it's not really an issue. You know, that's, we're pretty fortunate in that way. We all, we're all really mature and understand, you know, how this business works. Okay, so one more thing about him officiating your wedding. Did you know that he'd done that in the past? Did he talk about it? Like, how did you know? Yeah. Yeah, I knew he was playing. He just did uh, Lockhart's probably a week ago, and I knew, he, I knew he had some experience doing it. So there was some prior knowledge, but it was really kind of a spur of the moment where I was like, oh, my God, we should just get him to do it. And we, we asked him about it, and he was like, you know, he was like – Broke down. He's super happy. Dap each other up. It was it was really cool. So we're definitely uh, definitely excited about it. It's pretty unique. You get your. I mean, all my coaches, Sonny Cumbie, Coach Kitley. I mean, that kind of shows you what kind of people they are and their relationships, how they value um, with their players. And I mean, you know, you came there with Matt Wells. Yeah. Joey comes in. Just talk about how quickly you all connected. I mean, he, he's just so authentic. You know. You know him and I. You know, I'm obviously more of a veteran guy. I was, I've always been up front and candid with him, and he's done the same. You know, I'm not a high school recruit where you got to sell me a point or you got to give me this amount of money. And we're, we're definitely about business and production, and and we just connected really, really well. And Coach Kelly, obviously, he's a younger guy as well. So, you know, we just, I mean, right away there was, you know, for me working hard in the film room and stuff like that, I think we just all gelled really well, and we got the kind of same mindset. We got a chip on our shoulder, and Coach Rabar, he's got that, that West Texas tough mentality for sure that I'm trying to embody.